it's Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today and clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, be sure to head on down below and subscribe. Also, leave a thumbs up if you want. That is super helpful. I appreciate it a lot. So today has been almost a year, if not actually a year. I don't, I don't know. Since I got my first pair of Warby Parkers, I got them last year around like August-ish. And so, when I first got them, loved them, the, I did a little review on them on my channel, and y'all really seem to like that. And I think that is because we all have questions about Warby Parker. Part of why I got Warby Parkers when I bought them, the main reason I would say that started the whole thing is I really wanted a pair of clear glasses, so I ended up getting the Purcells, and the color is actually called Crystal, and I like them a lot, and I just recently got the frames re or got them replaced because I need new lenses which I will touch on that more but I figured it's been a year I would consider myself to be the average glasses consumer so I figured let's talk it's been a year it's not that they've changed per se but I kind of have a better idea a year later so I like Warby Parker a lot so I will say I have more good things to say than bad but hey I just want to give all the information to you so you can make the best decision when it comes to picking glasses for you I love the style and what you get for the price I think that these styles at Warby Parker are, are absolutely adorable I think that the Purcell is really cool because it's not only that it's not just that the styles are kind of unique but also the colors are really unusual and fun like that's something I think that's really cool and like the frames I got, I want to say it was like $99 for the lens and the frame, which if you don't know, that's a pretty good deal, especially for something like a nice like a nice pair of glasses like this. Like I feel like like sometimes you get like okay, I have a pair of $9 frames from Walmart. So can you compare to that like but if you're getting a real like cute pair of glasses, I think Warby Parker is a great place for that. Another thing I love, love that you can replace them one time for free. It comes with a one year warranty. I don't know all the details, I just know what worked for me. So for me personally, my eyes got worse, yay. Um, had to get new contacts, had to get new glasses, and then for these I just got the lenses um, replaced. And so because they have that one year warranty, one of the things it covers is it'll, they'll trade out the lenses I guess in case you get scratches or stuff like that, but also if your eyes get worse like mine did. So I brought my glasses in last month, they were gone for about a week or two. But they're totally replaced, they're good, they're my prescription, and it is wonderful. And I didn't have to pay a thing for them to ship it or anything. They would have shipped it to my house, but I personally just like to go to the store so they can adjust it if I need to. The people at the stores, if you have a chance to go to the store, those people at the store are so nice. And they also like know obviously a thing or two more than you or I do know about glasses. And so I always find that that's really helpful to kind of have their expertise on that. You probably already know this, but I just really enjoy the unique kind of hipster vibe that all these frames have. If you've ever been to a store, all the people working there have on frames and they all look like cute tiny hipsters and I don't know, I think it's adorable. I know you can get stuff like this other places, but I just feel like the style and what you get for the price, I feel like it's hard to match that. I like it and it's not like I'm a really hipster myself or anything. However, <laughs> I think they're trendy, I think they're cute and so I love that. Another thing I absolutely adore about Warby Parker is I you get more than just the glasses when you get them. When I got these glasses, I got this really nice case. It's like a really cool navy faux leather. It says Warby Parker on it, and then on the inside, oh my gosh, on the inside it says nice to see you. The glasses case is happy to see me. <laughs> um, in addition to the glasses case, they also give you a really nice cleaning cloth. Like it's better than some of the other ones I have. And on it, it says it has 100 words. Warby Parker in 100 words explaining to you how Warby Parker was created and they also gave me this super cool bag to carry it out in like the bag they put their products in it's a reusable bag which obviously that's like walking advertisement for them but it's a good bag and I like it a lot so now I've told you a few of the things I love about Warby Parker but it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you some of the things that I don't love there's less because I love Warby Parker and I will be going back but as a consumer I think you should know this Regardless of your opinion, I think it's very true that you get what you pay for. You're paying a hundred bucks and I think you get a hundred dollars worth of glasses, you know? They're not the nicest, but I think they're really great. Like for me, what I want out of them, they totally fulfill that. But I know some people are used to high-end glasses and I think they expect like, oh, these glasses look really cool and it's a great deal and I think they expect them to be the quality of high-end glasses. I don't think it's that. One of my friends, she was showing me, she had Kate Spade frames and the lenses in them were like high grade lenses that they'd gotten so she could keep them for a long time. 
and like I was holding them and looking at them and there was very much a difference between her glasses and my glasses. However, my glasses are cute, they serve the purpose, I can see better, and they're comfortable and functional, so I don't know. I guess just you do get what you pay for, but there's the downside of it's not super fancy, so take it with a grain of salt. I've mentioned this a couple times. They feel kind of cheap, which when I'm wearing them on my face, do I think that? No. But like when I pick them up and hold them, I do kind of worry. I mean, they're just not as nice, but the truth is, as that doesn't really affect my use of them. It's just something that I think you might want to know going into it that they do feel in the past when I've had other glasses that are kind of the same material, because I have wire ones, but when I've had other glasses that are kind of that same plastic acrylic, I don't know what it is. I should look that up, I don't know. But um, I've had other glasses that feel kind of nicer, but something that drives me absolutely crazy, and I don't know if it has to do with the lenses or just their position to my eyes and my eyelashes or what the deal is, but my Warby Parkers get dirty so easily. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's just because I think they're closer to my eyelashes than my other glasses, but they're constantly getting like just smudges on them. So I pretty much every time I wear them when I go home I have to clean them. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it kind of is annoying, especially when I'm at school and like I didn't remember to clean them recently, and then I'm there and I'm like, great, if I rub it my shirt it makes it worse. Like, so that's not great. My biggest complaint when it comes to my Warby Parkers is I feel like the frames come loose so easy. Like, not loose to the point that I'm not gonna wear them, but loose to the point where I notice it's getting kinda looser and I want them tightened. If you go to the store, they'll tighten it for free, they'll adjust it, they will do whatever, they're so nice there, not a big deal. But you know, it's just one of those where it's like, going to get my glasses adjusted is not on the top of my list, especially when other pairs that I own from different locations, or from different stores, don't really have the same problem. Maybe it's just this style, I don't know what it is, but I do notice them getting looser, and that bugs me a little bit, not a lot, but yeah. I guess you should say, if that's my biggest complaint, is that they occasionally need to be tightened. I think they're a pretty solid pair of glasses, but that's how I feel about Warby Parker one year later. It's holding up to one year later. Um, I like them a lot. There's good, there's bad. I just want you to know before you consider buying a pair, all the good and all the bad. If you want um, some more thorough commentary on it, I think my last video might be a little bit longer. You can check into that. I'll have that link down below. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up in the comments down below. Let me know if you're thinking about buying a pair of Warby Parker glasses or if you have some already. I think they're so cute. I really w <laughs> I'd like to get a new pair, but I'm probably going to wait another year or two just because I have enough glasses at the moment. But yeah. Anyways, y'all, I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!